You're a lot taller than in the in Yeah, the you know what? I get that. All right, guys, so we are here with Michael. What's up, you two? Michael is also a fellow vlogger and a motivational speaker, right? That's right. From New York. And we're actually in Central Park. This is the second week I'm in Central Park. We're heading up north now to a part of the park that him and I have never really explored before. Trying to check out a new little area. Yeah, we just, the city. Yeah. we just met up with Strawberry Fields. We're going to head up now. There's the uh, there's the castle up north. Probably go check that out. And then it should be a, it's a beautiful day. I think this is the castle. The castle. We did it. We got it. Awesome. We both completely misdressed for this occasion because we're both it, wearing it is too warm. very thick pea coats. It's 47 degrees out. I thought it was gonna be crazy. <laughs> we're at Belvedere Castle right now, and this is what is called a folly, which is essentially a very elaborate building that serves no other purpose than to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Which this yeah. castle certainly is. No, you know what I heard? What? Back in the day, this is the highest point in the park, so I yeah. guess it, it was supposed to be like a lookout. It was, yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be. I think this was built in 1870 or 1869, and that's true because that's where the uh, the weather observatory is, right yeah. up on this peak up there. In retrospect, it's not very high comparably to the rest of the city, but it is the highest point in the park. Top of Belvedere Bel Castle. Bel I forgot the name. Belvedere <laughs> Castle. You're the one that totally went spot too. <laughs> we have a camp position on ledge, a little bit sketchy. It's like this. Yeah, it's basically I'm positioned on this. Michael and I have been talking just I guess for you know the past half hour. And Michael's actually moved to New York City from San Diego mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. seven months, eight months ago. How long ago? Last December, so it's almost a almost a year now. So what's like your favorite part about New York? New York, so far. the energy, the people, I mean, especially in Manhattan, when you're just walking around, you can get lost in the city. Yeah. And if you get lost, there's going to be a train stop near you. In San Diego, everything's, it's a highly populated city, but it's spread out. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go somewhere, you have to plan ahead of time and take yeah. your car. But here you can get lost and it's, you can do anything everywhere. If you want to come to New York, it's, just, it's unique. There's no place like it. And, and I'll touch on that too because, like you said, it, it's so filled with opportunity and, and everywhere you go it's just motivational because here what you see that you don't see in other cities is that you can pursue any type of dream that you want. And I mean, we're both vlogging right now, whether whether or not you wanted to make that your, your full-time living mm -hmm. or whatever you wanted to do, you, there's so many different things here and you can do anything you want. So this behind us, or that way, is called Zorbing, where you basically go into a giant inflatable ball and just beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, oh hell yeah, I got that tackle. That's a good tackle. I'll give you my email address, okay? <laughs> oh man. So behind us is the Jacqueline Kennedy Reservoir. It's this gigantic, gigantic reservoir, which has actually been decommissioned since 1993. It's more of a landmark at this point. But it's just, once again, it's very weird to see like the Great Lawn, just this open area in New York City, something you really don't expect. Okay, so we started here at Strawberry Fields, yeah. and we are... Jeez, we've made it a... We are all the way, we're here, right? North yeah. Meadow, because here's the reservoir. Just past that. We're past the tennis we course. Crossed this by this bridge right here. Oh, yeah. so we're like right here. Keep walking north, we'll hit the pool. 
But then there's a rec center right here. I guess there's no need to go to a rec center. No. It's not like we're gonna go be recreational. Yeah, it's, we're not playing ping pong. So Michael and I have just been you know, walking and talking for a few hours now. And we've made our, our way quite a bit up the park. This is now a, a really, tremendous way up the yeah, park. <laughs> this is really area we're really not familiar with. But listen, when you have good conversation and you're in a beautiful city in a beautiful park, time really just is fly. So I mean, we're fairly up into the park now, really leaving the more touristy areas of the park. And we were just saying, he was saying how this is sort of real New York. You know, at this part, it's Central Park, but we've sort of left the area where the tourists usually hang out and everyone here more or less I guess you can say locals by the reservoir because it's fairly far up and you have this this kind of mini skyline right behind us here and there's no skyscrapers not, not gentrified at all yeah no not gentrified no skyscrapers sort of like the, the historic old New York it has a, a different feeling to it than the rest of New York City and it's just real wonderful real peaceful feeling Siberian door from the water hi buddy Arctic Circle? Yeah. Wow. Well, they're beautiful. Thank you for yeah. this pass. Thank you. I go to Michael, are we in the park? And he goes, no, we can't be. Yeah. Look, here's, here's, here's the park. We started over here. Yeah. And now we are at the very top of the park. Right there. We made it all the way. And then if you look right there and look up, that's, that's the end. We did it. Huh. I'm impressed. Michael and I are at an ice skating rink. We're right at the very north end of the park. I didn't know there was an ice skating rink at the very north end of the park. There's the more famous one on the south end of the park. But Alyssa, if you're watching this, my girlfriend Alyssa has been asking me to go ice skating for the three years that we've been dating. And we have never gone. I promise this winter, I will take you ice skating in either Rockefeller Center or Central Park. You can pick, or Bryant Park, you can pick one. But I promise you this year will be the year that we finally do it. This is my video promise. So everyone watching, you have to hold me accountable to that. And I'll vlog it as well, so we have that for our records. We have walked the entire park. We did it. And it's about, it's the goal, like my last video is the golden hour in New York City right now. It's getting dark. He's gotta go to work. I gotta head home. I gotta, I gotta go to Midtown. He's going to Staten Island. I got Staten Island, so. We're in Harlem. We both have, we both have, the, the problem is we walked up instead of walking down. So. New York, New York. So now we gotta both go right back down. If it wasn't for YouTube, we never would have met. We never would have, have been able to collab and hang out and explore. We ne never would have made it out here. And uh, now we made a new friendship, so it, it's good. It's and so thank you YouTube, thank you to the viewers that watch that make yes. this possible. Go check out Michael's and, channel. And go check out James's there channel. There you go, there you go. <laughs> it's been good, Michael. Pleasure. Yes, we'll be in touch soon. I'll see you. There you go.